So I'm delighted that we dedicate one day in September for people with dementia. However, we must not view aging from a very negative perspective that all old people will develop dementia or depression. The good news is we found that it is possible to prevent dementia and depression. And now the rate of dementia and depression in a study we conducted at Jerome West. Um, and we have a cohort of seniors, about 1,000 of them. And what we did was first to stabilize the hypertension and diabetes. Because we know that hypertension and diabetes are risk factors for dementia and depression. And after that, we encourage them to do some brain activities like mindfulness, gardening, art, music, and exercise. And after five years, we did a, a, another assessment to find out how they are. And we found that the rate for dementia is no longer 10%, it's around just 4 to 5%. And that's a good news. And for depression, it's no longer 10% also, it's just about 3%. And it's important to detect the depression because people with depression, especially the seniors, are more prone to have suicidal ideation. And the suicide rate for seniors uh, is much higher than for young people. So that's the good news. It's possible to prevent dementia and depression. Besides seeing patients with dementia and depression and managing them with medication, we also use non-drug approach. And we encourage them to go walking the parks, encourage them to have other activities, art, music, playing Scrabble, uh, also mahjong. These are non-drug approach which are very, very helpful for the brain function of the person. Now, over and above all this, we realize in the clinics that it is very important also to take care of the caregivers, the family members. They go through a lot of stress. A paper we published almost 20 years ago showed that about 40% of caregivers of people with dementia have symptoms of anxiety and depression. And sometimes it can be so severe that they don't want to look after the elderly anymore. So we also invest some time to talk to the caregivers of what they can do uh, and what other uh, facilities they can reach out to to help them to care for the person with dementia. So I think the, the good news is it is possible to uh, prevent dementia. You cannot prevent all dementia. Even if it's just 10% or 20%, that's excellent. It's also possible to prevent depression from uh, about 7 or 10% of, of prevalence rate. It's now it's about 3%. And secondly, even for people with dementia, it is possible to prevent a rapid decline of brain function. In the past, when nothing can be done, the person's dementia deteriorated very, very rapidly. But now we found out with all the, the non-drug approach together with medication, we can improve the quality of life of the elderly person. So that's the good news. So if you have a family member, an elderly parent who has memory difficulties, it is important to seek help early. Go and see your family doctor who will do a rapid screening and if he suspects or she suspects dementia, um, then they can refer to a specialist including psychiatrist, neurologist or geriatrician.